Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Kotetz here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Q&A, and I got a lot of cool questions this week, so yeah, let's take a look at them. Dark Stunter asked, Q&A, what did you think about my face reveal? And if you guys don't know this, Dark Stunter did a face reveal on his channel for 2K subscribers, and it honestly made me feel a little bit bad. You know why? It's because I saw the face reveal of a 16-year-old who actually looks like they're 16. Like me, I don't really look like I'm 16, so I don't know. I guess that's a good thing. Good for you, Dark Stunter. Yeah. Fro Stunts asked, Q&A, what do you plan on doing when you grow up? And actually, I want to go to college and major in film and video production because if you guys can't already tell, I like making the vids. So I guess I'm going to try to do that as a career. If, of course, if YouTube doesn't work out, that's like under the assumption that I don't like gain enough subscribers on YouTube to make it a career. But if YouTube makes me enough money to do a career, like the second that happens, I'll jump to doing YouTube as a career. And then I'll just like save like the whole college thing for later. But the chances of that happening are unfortunately low, but I guess we can only dream. Gage Johnson Vlogs asked, on a scale from 1 to 10, how hard is that mini precision I asked you to do? And this guy suggested a stunt for me to do, and I was actually going to make it a stunt challenge, but the thing about it is the stunt this guy wanted me to do was so hard that I could not do it, and therefore I could not put out the episode, so... Because it was so much harder than any other stunt I've been doing lately, I'll give it a 9. Ivoltic asked, what do the people at your school think about your channel? And I would say quite a few people know about it, of course not everyone, of course there's probably a lot of like freshmen and like seniors I don't talk to who don't know about the channel. Uh, I take back freshmen. I actually talk to a lot more freshmen than most sophomores do. Uh, but, like, I'm saying about probably older people. They probably don't know about it. Just people I talk to, mostly, are the people who know about it. And the people who do know about it are pretty supportive. They like it. Um, I don't really know of anyone else in my YouTube, uh, at school who takes, like, YouTube seriously. Uh, there's actually this one girl at my school who's famous on Instagram. Her name is Sage. But she's only uploaded really 17 videos on her channel. So I wouldn't really call her a YouTuber. James Smith asked, will you do a stunt battle with Rubik or Yellock? And I was actually planning on doing a stunt battle with Rubik. But the thing about it is he's like never on Skype. So I just never got a chance to go record that with him. But Rubik, if you're watching this, I want to battle you. We need to collab. Let's make a video together. Let's do a thing where whoever hit the stunt first, um, maybe the, maybe it could be high stakes or something. I don't know, like, the loser has something posted to Twitter, I don't know. Like, I think that would be a lot of fun. Another question by James Smith. Q&A, can you do a stunt with keyboard and mouse? And this ironically and strangely ties in with the Rubik question. And Rubik is known for hitting, like, stunts of keyboard and mouses. I don't do that crap. I'm not really as good as Rubik, but the thing about it is if we ever did a stunt battle, I would say, Rubik, you cannot use keyboard and mouse. That's unfair. Well, I'm not saying he can't, but I'm saying it can't be a rule where you both have to because I have no idea how to stunt with keyboard and mouse. I use controllers. Potato BMX asked, which is better, long glides or complicated BMX grinds? And I like long grinds more, but not long grinds. I mean, long glides. That contradicted what I said completely, but anyway... I, I know a lot of people like complicated grinds better, but I like long glides. Tech and XI had a comment, and he says, Every time I hear you do intro, I do a little rap. And if you're talking about my intro song, that's really weird because that song doesn't really have any words in it. And speaking of my intro song, it's called Nerco Your Embrace. It's in the description of every, every single one of my videos, and I checked out the video for that song, and... There were 10 people who said Kotetsu brought me here, and that surprised me because I only got like 2k subs. Like, I didn't think I made that much of an influence on like music choices and stuff, but I don't know. I guess people really like the song. Like, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Unfaded Stunting asked, What do you think of Andrew McDonald? And Andrew McDonald, if you don't know, he's one of the most legendary trolls on my channel. A lot of my longtime viewers know who Andrew McDonald is. He's pretty much trolled my Q&A videos since the first one I made, and I think I've made like 40 since two years ago, and he has trolled like every single video, so Andrew McDonald is an absolute legend. Zkix asked, do you think it would be a good idea to do a clash of the teams where each team, any category grinds for clips and put out a montage and whoever has the best montage wins, and... I, I read that statement with the grammars, people, like, wondering, like, I know, like, when you type a long sentence like that, you don't want to, I can go back and, like, correct a lot of stuff, I completely understand, but 
He's asking like a sort of like a clash of like certain stunting teams and someone has actually tried that before and it was called the stunting x games it was a project that was started by mario for life and i'm not even gonna get into that guy that guy's a psychopath but anyway pretty much um what he was like trying to do is like a competition but it didn't really work at all so people kind of lost interest i'm also kind of thinking the reason why people didn't like it is because mario for life mario for life was behind the operation that may just be a possibility, who knows? And anyways guys, that was it for this week's questions, and before I end the video, I have a few things I want to kind of discuss with you guys, so I have three weeks left to school, like I said in yesterday's video, I have three weeks, I have next week, um, the week after, and finals week, yes, finals week, the geometry final is gonna kill me! Anyway, I'm trying not to think about that right now, but after that, it's gonna be done. My schedule is no longer gonna be overloaded. Because for the past six months, I have like woken up and worked from the sun up to the sun down on whatever, whether it be school, sports, like videos, whatever, and I'll finally have more time to just be alive, not just like constantly doing stuff, and that'll be so nice, that'll be so nice, and that's why I really like summer. I know some people like, uh, summer, no big deal, uh, I, I'm not gonna go to the beach anyway, but summer is like such a huge deal for me because it's the one time of year I have leftover time to do things that I want to do on my own time without anyone telling me that I can't do it. So, I like summer in my opinion, and those are my reasons for liking summer, and also my upload schedule during summer. Videos posted on this channel twice a day. Yes, I said it. Two times a day, and the only exceptions will be when I'm on vacation, and... I'm going on two trips this summer, I'm going to spend four days at Anime Expo in Los Angeles, and that's from July 1st to July 4th, and of course July 4th I'll be spending time with family, so I'll have, I think I'll have like two pre-recorded videos for that, like I think I'll post like every other day when I'm on vacation, and I'm also going uh, a few other places, I can't, I don't know exactly what I'm doing for my second vacation, but when I'm gone, pretty much like two videos a day when I'm here, but when I'm away, it'll be a video every other day. So pretty much if things worked out like how I planned them, I'm not really going to have to ever spend like more than two days without making a video. So hope you guys are all enjoying like that new upload schedule. Um, I did that last summer and my channel grew so much last summer. So we're going to try and grow my channel too this summer. It's only a matter of time before my content gets out there and... I start catching up with some of my friends, like Brox, Prestige Clips, Erasable Ninja, you guys are growing like wildfire, and I am so jealous! Anyways guys, so that's it for today's video, and if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, make sure to drop a like on the video, and also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for daily GTA 5 content and more. And until next time, this is Kotetsu here, have a wonderful day or night wherever you live, please be safe, Kotetsu out!